Code of Conduct and Ethics for Employees. Welcome. Joe, I am glad you could join me today for our Code of Conduct and Ethics for Employees training. Today I'm going to walk you through the basics of a Code of Conduct and Ethics, as well as your role and responsibility in adherence to the company's codes. Sounds great. I'm ready to go. Let me ask you this. Have you ever experienced an ethical dilemma? Do you mean a situation where I'm not sure what the right or wrong course of action would be? Yes. Can you recall how you handled it? Honestly, I didn't handle it well. I remember, in my situation, there wasn't necessarily a right or wrong choice, but there was definitely a better choice, and I chose the wrong one. I guess ethical choices are not always black and white. You're right, Joe. Sometimes there are gray areas, and this is where a code of conduct and ethics will be your best resource for solving these dilemmas. In the code of ethics, you can learn about the character of the organization you work for, in the same way you might wish to learn about the character of a new friend. An organization's code of conduct specifies behavioral expectations. It also sets boundaries. In personal relationships, boundaries are typically set after a breach of confidence has occurred. In business, the boundaries are set before unwanted events occur. Both the code of conduct and ethics are valuable business tools that give our organization a voice regarding its character and expectations. These tools educate employees and improve their ability to function as valuable members of the organization. I see. That sounds like a very handy tool. It sure is. So remember that getting to know your organization's code of conduct is like getting to know a new friend, and understanding this will lead to a healthy business relationship. So, what do you say? Shall we get started? Let's get acquainted.